Get ready with me as I pack up a customer order, which is this LED matrix that I custom designed and built. It's composed of a diffuser grid, an LED matrix, and the housing that goes behind it. And it's powered by an ESP32 microcontroller that I've flashed with WLED. It has a microphone for sound reactivity, and then it's got a fuse to protect from overcurrent. I use Wago connectors to connect all of the wires so there's a minimal soldering that needs to be done. And I use a DC power jack so I can bring power from the power supply right into the back. Screws hold the components in place and I use these silicone wires to connect everything together. We'll take some Gorilla Glue and put them in these slots here. And once we've put that in there without making too much of a mess, we'll slide the Wago connectors in where they fit. Now let's go ahead and put the fuse into the fuse holder by unscrewing it, popping the fuse in, and then screwing it back together. The fuse holder snaps right into the base of the case really nicely. Now we're going to pop in our DC power jack, and we can just shove it right in, and it fits so snugly we don't need any glue. Since the microcontroller is already flashed with WLED, we can start modifying it. What I do is I clip off the pins that we don't need on the bottom side. So you only have six pins total exposed, as you can see here. We'll cut some wire all to the right length. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and attach each wire by soldering them on. And once we've soldered them all on, we'll actually take that shrink wrap and slip them over the wires all the way down to the pin. And then we can use a heat gun to shrink that tubing. Next, we'll add the wires to the microphone. After that, we can start connecting the wires to the Wago lever nuts. We'll connect the other side as well. And then we can put the ESP32 in place with a couple of screws. And then we'll take the wires from the ESP32 and start connecting them to the Wagos. And we'll also snap the microphone into the base of the case. Once all those wires are connected, it's time to connect the plug that will connect our LED matrix, and we're good to start testing. So let's plug in power into the DC power jack, and we'll connect our matrix, and there we go, we have text. But this doesn't look that great, even with the lights off, until we put the matrix into the base of the housing, snap on the diffuser. Let's just admire the beauty of this case Solid white is what this customer ordered, and you can see how good that looks. You have the holes in the back for hanging on nails, and you can see the microphone sticking out of the back as well. What a clean looking design. But let's go ahead and plug this thing in because I know that's what you guys are waiting for. So when we plug it in, we see a little bit of weird stuff, and then there's the text. You can see the difference between that and the bare LEDs. It looks so much better, especially with the lights off. And there is my project. Peace.